हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरिएबल लेंथ आर्ग्यूमेंट लिस्ट इन जावा सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट डाउन दीज इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी और प्लेसमेंट पर्पजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक वेरिएबल लेंथ आर्ग्यूमेंट लिस्ट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम आई वॉन्ट टू फोकस अपॉन वेरिएबल लेंथ आर्ग्यूमेंट लिस्ट सो यू माइट हैव यूज फंक्शन इन सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस so in these languages uh, we can define uh, various functions which can receive uh, fixed number of uh, arguments uh, in them so if we uh, declare a function uh, which is uh, which can receive two arguments of integer type then we can only pass two arguments uh, in that function we cannot pass three or four uh, arguments in that function but if we want to pass any quantity of arguments in a particular function then we can do so in java so here is the example for this uh, purpose so name of class is where args test then i have mentioned or defined a function which is average return type of this function is double now this is important to uh, declare variable length argument we have to put three dots with the data type this numbers will become uh, variable for Uh, which uh, which can receive n number of arguments so so this number variable will convert into an array so you can see that in this for loop i have used numbers dot length so in my tutorial related to 1d or 2d i i have discussed about the length attribute this attribute uh, is used to identify number of elements available inside an array so with the help of this length attribute we can count number of elements then total plus equals to numbers of i will add all the elements which is available which are available in numbers array and the result will be stored in total variable then with the help of return statement the average of uh, uh, the total will be returned in the main function so total upon numbers dot length so total will be the addition of all the elements and numbers dot length means quantity of uh, those elements so this expression will return the average of uh, total uh, which is performed with the help of above loop so now inside main function i have declared four variables d1 d2 d3 and d4 so in first uh, system dot out dot println all four variables uh, are printed on console here for separation between string and variable i have used plus operator then uh, in second println statement i have called average function in which i have passed two arguments d1 and d2 so this average function will receive these two values and it will return average of the uh, these two uh, variables then again in println function i have called average function this time i have passed three arguments so again this average function is capable to receive these three arguments it will ret ret return the average of these three variables and at last again i have called average function this time i have passed four arguments so uh, this function can uh, process all these three all these three uh, sorry all these four arguments and uh, it will return average of these four uh, variables so friends uh, with the help of variable length argument list we can uh, define a, a function which can uh, receive any number of arguments in it so this uh, process or this uh, uh, concept will be helpful for you while implementing functions so thank you for watching this video